Smug CNN reporter keeps yelling questions at Trump, then POTUS silences him with one word by Robert Rich, Politics U.S. News, for MadWorldNews.com. CNN's Jim Acosta has apparently never heard the phrase, you catch more flies with honey. He continues to be a smug jerk attacking the President of the United States, thinking that's the way to go about respectable journalism. Too bad for Acosta, he decided to obnoxiously yell a few questions at President Donald Trump, and that's about the time he was silenced by Trump, who uttered just one brutal word. CNN has been the leading purveyors of fake news, and it doesn't look like things are going to improve anytime soon. In fact, they even seem to be trying to make their own news these days in yet another desperate attempt to make President Trump look bad. Too bad for them, the only thing CNN is doing is dirtying their own reputation. In fact, infamous Trump-hating reporter Jim Acosta demonstrated just that during an obnoxious series of events that he kicked off at the White House recently. President Nur Sultan Nazarbayev of Kazakhstan uh, was recently welcomed in Washington, D.C., prompting President Trump to hold a press briefing a conference, a brief press conference, initially allowing Americans to see that our leader is friends with other leaders across the globe. The event soon, uh, soon turned into so much more. At the, as the conference was winding to a close, cameras could be heard clicking away, capturing images of the two presidents together, but no one was talking until Acosta decided to open his fat trap, yelling out at the president. After hearing President Trump's many successes being outlined, Acosta sought to muddy the waters by bringing up every controversial topic he could think of. When he didn't get the response he wanted, he continued to yell louder and louder like a toddler. After the comments, Trump thanked the press for being there. As staffers asked the press to leave the Oval Office, a barrage of questions were shouted at the president. Many were shouted by CNN White House correspondent Jim Acosta. Acosta loudly asked about Norway and Steve Bannon, causing the White House staff to reprimand him with a quick, Jim, thank you, please exit, thanks everyone, source the Daily Caller. Too bad for him, things were about to blow up in his face as President Donald Trump grew fed up with his antics. Even better yet, the president was about to let Acosta know just that by silencing him with one single word. As can be heard during the exchange, Trump simply looked in the direction of the members of the press who weren't listening to directives to leave by White House aides and uttered the word out while pointing to the door, specifically talking to Acosta. Trump decided to let everyone know who was in charge of the room. Let's take a quick look. And can you imagine the other people, what they're thinking? They're now moving back into the United States. Uh, we had some big announcement recently with Chrysler going back to Michigan. We had Toyota coming in and it's going to build a massive plant. We have many, many companies coming in and they're building in the United States and that means jobs. So uh, I appreciate all the nice things you've said and I look forward to our luncheon. I look forward to our discussions and with that, uh, I just want to thank everybody for being here. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, everyone, for the Thank you, Jim. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I want them to come in from everywhere. Everywhere. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, everyone. Jim, thank you. Jim, thank you. Thanks, everyone. Mr. President, Jen, thank you. Jen, we're at today. Thank you, everyone. We're exiting. No idea. Really, no idea. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Time to exit. Jim, thank you. Everyone, please exit. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. With a question about whether you wanted countries, immigrants from Norway, but not from Africa and Haiti. Here it is again from a different angle. Pay attention to Acosta's face after being treated like a child. It's priceless. We should have watched that one first. Ms. President, did you say that you want more people to come in from Norway? Did you say that you wanted more people to come in from Norway? Is that true, Ms. President? 
I want them to come in from everywhere, everywhere. Thank you very much, everybody. Just Caucasian or white countries, sir, or do you want people to come in from other parts of the world where there are people of color? Jim, thank you. And uh, not sure if you can hear the end of that there, uh, Wolf, uh, but as I try to... Oh, please, you're just so anti-American. You don't care about the American people. Please move on. Please move on. Like they care about us? No, they don't. They just care about the, the illegals. That's all they care about. Because they're being paid to shove this down our throats. Of course, Acosta immediately took to Twitter in order to complain, but not too many people have any sympathy for him. After all, what else can you expect when you treat someone like trash every single day? Does this idiot actually think President Trump is going to continue to take that kind of assault? If so, it just goes to prove how deluded the liberal media really is when it comes to their opinions of themselves. Jim Acosta here. As I attempted to question, ask questions in the Roosevelt Room of Trump White House, press aides shouted in my face, really, to drown out my questions. I have never encountered that before, really. Yeah, because you've never been vicious to anybody other than Trump. What occurred reminded me of something I would see in a different country. Certainly not at the White House, certainly not in the U.S., Oh, poor boy. When I tried to follow up on this in the Oval Office, Trump, Trump told me to get out. Should we hand him a tissue while, it, while he's at it? We then went to the Roosevelt Room where White House aides obstructed us from asking questions. I'd obstruct you too. I wouldn't have even let you in if it was me. If I was Trump, I wouldn't even let these idiots in. If uh, Jim Acosta really wants to stop being treated like a child, then there's a simple solution. Stop acting like one. However, when you want to be loud, yell, and disrupt the teacher, you don't have anyone else to blame but yourself when you get kicked out of the class. The fact that we have to tell adults to act like adults is beyond ridiculous. And the fact that these idiots have people who support them out of nothing more than an allegiance of like-minded bias makes it even worse. Absolutely. I mean, really? Why, why don't you try sticking up for America once in a while, you and uh, Chris Wallace, the other, the other idiot uh, that Chris Wallace... All these people, they are sickening. They, they just aggravate you to the high heavens. I mean, you shouldn't get aggravated. It, I shut them off. That's what I do. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.